Lighting Diaz's aspiration to join the U.S.-led Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. Implications unveiled. Introduction. Welcome to Capture the Intelligence. In today's analysis, we delve into Lai Ching Diaz's recent announcement expressing the desire for Taiwan to join the U.S.-led Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. This move raises questions about the significance of being part of an economic initiative dominated by the United States. Join us as we explore the potential implications for Taiwan and the broader geopolitical landscape. Greetings viewers! In this episode, we dissect the implications of Lai Ching Di's statement regarding Taiwan's prospective inclusion in the U.S.-led Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. The focus is on understanding the dynamics of this economic alliance and its potential ramifications for Taiwan's economy and international standing. Analysis the key aspect of this development lies in the U.S. leadership of the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. This signifies that the initiative operates under American influence without the involvement of the People's Republic of China PRC. The framework, driven by principles of fair trade, introduces considerations beyond mere economic transactions. The Indo-Pacific Economic Framework The Indo-Pacific Economic Framework, led by the United States, is positioned as a potential successor to the World Trade Organization WTO. It aims to establish a comprehensive economic structure encompassing various aspects such as trade policies, human rights, and the alignment of nations with democratic principles. Notably, the exclusion of the PRC from this framework underscores a commitment to fair competition and ethical business practices. Member countries currently comprising 14 member countries, the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework includes the United States, Australia, Brunei, Fiji, India, Indonesia, Japan, South Korea, Malaysia, New Zealand, the Philippines, Singapore, Thailand, and Vietnam. Membership in this alliance grants access to favorable policies, tariff benefits, and support for fair competition, positioning it as an attractive prospect for Taiwan. Potential benefits for Taiwan For Taiwan, joining this framework holds the promise of a more level playing field in international trade. The exclusion of the PRC implies reduced interference from a nation known for its non-market economic practices. Taiwan's products, including agricultural goods, stand to benefit from increased competitiveness. In the markets of member countries, challenges and considerations, while the prospect of joining the U.S.-led initiative appears promising, there are challenges and considerations to navigate. The need for Taiwan to diversify its language capabilities, especially in Southeast Asian languages, becomes crucial for effective engagement with member nations. Additionally, aligning with the Indo-Pacific framework necessitates a comprehensive understanding of diverse cultures and economic systems. Geopolitical significance Beyond the economic implications, Taiwan's inclusion in the U.S.-led framework carries geopolitical significance. It serves as a strategic move to reduce Taiwan's economic dependence on the PRC, providing the island nation with greater autonomy and influence in international affairs. This step aligns with broader efforts to enhance Taiwan's visibility and participation on the global stage. Conclusion in conclusion, Lai Ching Di's announcement reflects a strategic initiative to position Taiwan within the U.S.-led Indo-Pacific Economic Framework. The move holds potential benefits for Taiwan's economy and geopolitical standing, offering 
a pathway to overcome challenges posed by the PRC's influence. As Taiwan charts its course in the international arena, capture the intelligence remains committed to keeping you informed.